Hi there. So we're here at Victoria College of Art with the uh, 40th annual student show. Um, down on our first floor, we have a whole variety of things going on, top floors, bottom floors. The entire school is filled with the students' work. Uh, this show will be up on the, from April 9th until April 11th. So over here we have the drafting room. And so what you'll find is that we have a number of paintings in here. We had about 20 new students come in, so we have about 20 students within their first year painting classes exhibiting in, in this room here. Uh, there's a lot of studies that you'll notice uh, a continuum of triptychs that come about. And I was in a painting class with Alan Costas. You also notice that there's a number of oil pieces kicking around, and that was with an art theory course and color theory course with Victor Arcega. Portraits that you just passed are by a first year student named June. This will be her first and only exhibit that she'll be having at the Victoria College of Art because she'll be leaving us shortly. But as you can see, she is very prolific and talented, and we'll see her name multiple times over and over again in this room. So again, we're coming up to one of these triptychs I was talking about that were done in the first year painting class with Alan Costas. Accentuating the corner of the room, we have a Michelle Matil original. You will recognize his art and probably see it many times over the years here at Victoria College of Art. We have over 35 artists exhibiting in this art show here today over the next three days. So in here we have the animation studio. There's a variety of, of stop animations and, and 2D animations going on on the different computers around the room. And this is where the magic happens, from everything from casting and toy making to doing 2D animation. And down here we have sculpture, printmaking, and photography. There's a variety of sculptures here from some of our instructors and then from our first year up until our fourth year graduate. So you'll see a variety of skill levels and a variety of ideas coming out down in this space here. Recently, we dusted off the dark room and got the photography from film back in action. And again, we have Alan Costaz, but this time in his favorite medium, printmaking. Down here we have a real treat for you. We have Megan Premachuk, Kyle Fairweather, and Taylor Williams. And there are three graduates that are coming out of the Victoria College Bar right now. So if you just proceed this way, you'll see your lovely. <laughs> So the third year, they've been here for three years now and are coming to their graduating term with their fine arts diploma. Uh, Megan Premachek has been primarily exhibiting watercolor pieces in this show. Taylor Williams is exhibiting a mixture of watercolors and oils. Kyle Fairweather is doing oils, prints, and drawings, charcoal drawings. Taylor also does have some prints as well in the piece. 
You can see they're very distinct style differences, but they've come together very nicely to be able to complement the, the relationship that the three of them have. So Kyle Fairweather here is, is the one who has done the Vincent Price portrait. He also has a lot of the alien focus pieces in the, in the exhibit. Kyle Fairweather is going to be moving towards graphic novels and creative story writing. He also was working on an alien series which will be coming out in June with their graduation show at the Martin Bachelor. And this exhibit will then highlight more of his interests in the extraterrestrial veins. We have Taylor, Taylor Williams, who is uh, in the corner here with her lovely watercolor and print mixes. So I'd just like to say, Taylor, what, how does it feel to be graduating? Uh, I'm very proud of myself. I'm very happy to, that the hard work has paid off. Nice. And where do you think you're going to be heading with your next series that you're going to be exhibiting at the Martin Bachelor? Is there going to be a difference in what we're seeing from here today to that exhibit? I think there will be. I mean, it will be more self-guided this time, so I think it'll be a bit more personal in a way, it, just because it'll be myself um, looking at it, critiquing it, and taking it every step of the way, so it's sort of like molding it. So it'll have um, a, lot more of, a lot more of me in it, I think, in a way. Is there a specific vein that you're looking at or a specific theme that you're looking at in the next exhibit that you're going to have? Um, well, for me, it, it's always changing and evolving. So I could state, you know, what I think it would be, but it might change in the coming months. So all I can say is that um, it'll be probably a big body of work. Um, more than likely, like I have some pieces that I believe I'm going to put in there and they're my family pieces that I have done portraits of, but I have also incorporated some myths of um, my culture. Wonderful. And when you say your culture, where is it that you're from, Taylor? Um, I'm in Interior Coast Salish, the Liltwat Nation. Um, we live in uh, Mount Curry, but we originate from Lillooet. Wonderful. Red River, to be specific. Well, thank you so much, Taylor. Your work is really beautiful, and I love your... your um, you were saying that this series that is the main center here was a study of color? Uh, yes, it was a study of color and illumination sort of which has resulted in the jellyfish um, because some pieces that I want to do actually a series that I've started is um, of jellyfish just specifically jellyfish in oil paintings just um, different animals that I decide that I really like uh, right now it's jellyfish sometimes a few pandas here and there um, I incorporate other animals um, I feel like I devote a certain amount of time into delving into that animal until I hit at the point where I'm like, ah, it's done. And that's all how I can explain it, is that it just feels done for that time in my life, that moment. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for sharing that with us, Taylor. That's really beautiful. Thank you. We look forward to seeing you at Martin Bachelor Gallery in June, is it? Uh, in July, I believe. In July. July 4th. Wonderful. July 4th? Yes. And what time does it open? That has not been discussed yet. All Between right. the three collective, um, I believe. All right, so sometime July 4th. We'll yes, see you there. July 4th, yes. So we're here with Megan Premenschuk, who is one of the three graduates that are coming out of Victoria College of Art this 2015. So, Megan, how does it feel to be graduating? Very big relief. I'm very happy to be graduating. It's been a long three years, and I am ready for a break <laughs> from school. Where do you think you're going to go with, with art in the next vein? Like, um, I think illustration is a route. Um, I really enjoy portraiture, and, but I'm definitely going to take a year and just explore the things that I love and just build up that way. Wonderful. Yeah. And what are the things that you love? Faces. I love faces. I love people. The figure, female figure, is beautiful and... That's, I have a very small, what I love, and, but I, I love horses, so I would really like to do animals, and, but yeah, I definitely want to pursue portraiture and the figure. Cool. Yeah. Do you think you'll continue working in watercolors, like the majority of what you have a, 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 a displayed here today? Yes. I am much looser with my watercolors. And, but I think I'll get better at watercolor and it'll translate into my oils and pencil work and whatever else I do. Nice. 
Now, as far as your show that goes on July 4th at the Martin Bachelor Gallery, are you going to be seeing something that's a little bit different from what we're seeing here at this exhibit? You'll be seeing my oil work, <laughs> so that's very different. It's, I just, I'm a lot more tighter and a lot more controlling with my oils than I am with my watercolors. So it'll be more oils and more illustrative. I did a story called The Witches, and so it's very stylized versus these ones. Yes. Wonderful. Um, is there anything that you'd like to say as, uh, as far as your journey has gone so far at the, the Victoria College of Art and, and your art career launching? How do you feel today? I feel like a big weight's lifted off my shoulders and I think the most important thing, no matter what, is to do what you love. Even if it doesn't make sense to everybody because art is a very difficult thing for people, the public to understand, but just do what you love. Wonderful. So. Well, thank you, Megan, and I look forward to seeing your series at the Martin Gap Thatcher Gallery on July 4th, and we'll, we'll see you there. Okay. So greeting you at the top of the stairs, you'll find a lovely piece by Valerie Williams. This is a mixture of acrylic on wood and all sorts of variety of things I'm sure went into that. Valerie Williams is new to Victoria College of Art, but not new to the art scene. She has a variety of mediums that she works in, which her main one is photography. In the drawing room, you'll be able to experience a little bit more of what she does in that vein and her abilities. And around the school, I'm sure you'll get to see a variety of her other stuff. So keep your eyes peeled for Valerie Williams. So in the upstairs room to your right, you'll be able to, you'll find the majority of the paintings up in here with the master painting class with Paul Perigal. So we have a couple of new people coming onto the scene in here, um, but that have been painting for a number of years and then have just emerged in, out and are exploring into more expressionist veins. So welcome to Majority Master Painting. There's also pieces by Steve Dickerson's second and third year painting class, and then a handful of the triptographs you'll see are from Ellen Costaz's first year class. In here you will also find the fourth year graduate Naomi Kennedy's work as well. Michel Matil is in the corner. Easily distinguishable work by his beautiful etheric female figures. Over on this wall, we see a, a study in reflection and a study in light, both by Angela and Naomi. These pieces here are with a new lady that has just recently joined our team. Her name is Laura. Dolan, and she's a very lovely little lady. Experimenting with acrylics, she's gone into abstract a little bit here and there, but mostly does portraiture. So once again, Paul Perigal's master painting class. Coming up we have the Michelle Matil, notable by the etheric cosmology and the beautiful female figure. And then we're moving into a very different style, which you can recognize, which is Shelley Moore. So Shelley Moore has been kicking around Victoria College of Art on and off for a couple of years, and has just really devoted herself strongly the last year here, and with work with Paul Perigal on Friday afternoons for a seven hour days. You can really see that she's it's paying off. Over in the corner, you can notice a Scottish taste, which we have Graham, and I can't remember his last name. But he's a lovely artist exhibiting around town, specifically in Jay's today recently, so you might recognize some of his styles. And this panel here is the lady named Laura Dolan that I was speaking about earlier.
So in here we have the drawing room, which also pipes out as painting room depending on what week or what day it is. But in here we have all of our design, our drawing, charcoal, and pen and ink stuff will be found in this placement here. Some of them there is some photo photography and there is some Photoshop work from a Photoshop illustration course that happened. Most of the work you'll see in here is probably coming from our 20 plus first year students that started, but I'm sure there's a variety from all levels coming into this room. So you can see a scratch board there and some Photoshop work done from the photo illustration course. Then we have Valerie Williams with her photography as promised. The actual photographer in this case was Angela Hiller. That's a collaboration between the two artists to show off what they can do. Got a lovely little illustrator, Ruth. And all sorts of fantastic artists. In the corner here, I can't remember this young man's name, but he's made a living clock. The clock is actually functional, and all parts of it, aside from the paper, are living. Yeah. Oh, those are sort of... So from our illustration course, you can see the variety of things that have come about. So many options and medium choices when it comes to drawings and such beautiful effects that can be made in the choices of mark making. Over here, we have a, a new artist that has decided to explore with buttons. Nice little corner of buttons. This is coming out of our design class. The artist's name is Jamie Lynn Mitchell, who's doing the buttons. The Johnny Depps came out of a portraiture class with Victor Arcega. So much wonderful work here today on these three days from April 9th to April 11th at 1625 Bank Street at the Victoria College of Art. So come on down and enjoy some beautiful artwork. And if you're kicking around Martin Bachelor around July 4th, be sure to happen in and see our wonderful grads showing what they've been working on for this entire year.